for other schools that there were more people um so there were division so male and female were separated although in some i think there was still in the non-contact non fights the male and female fought together but in not in the contact fights we were separated oh, okay yeah that makes sense yes. so makes in all the club fights um inside our own club uh i fought for the guys okay yeah cool i like that <laughs> yeah, i used to do that too and i still i still do that now i feel like i feel like they don't go easy on me they're either afraid of me or afraid of hurting me i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> you like to be the poor one in the letter <laughs> yeah i'm the same as you like i'm i'm not very big and it can be very deceiving but they, they've got a good 30 40 kilos on you that's a massive weight um comparison you know crazy it's crazy but i wanted to talk about as well so i know that you're just so well rounded and i know you have two beautiful boys so i wanted to talk about you as a role model in your son's life because i know they're both very very successful um one's one's a psychologist is that right and and chris is obviously a very well known actor in all of these incredible movies coming he was sorry the second one john he was studying psychology and then he some um, entrepreneurial mind actually got him involved in a uh, biomedicine amazing yeah. okay. yes i actually i did i did read that somewhere yeah that's incredible so obviously with mum and dad barry and yourself such good role models so how have you how have you nurtured them and supported the boys especially um chris with the fame because fame um comes at its own cost obviously and there's a lot, there's a lot of accolades and there's a lot of success and there's, but there's also comes with a lot of pressure and and a different view into a world that perhaps people don't know about so how have you been a stable solid role model in in their life and his life i think when you talk about role modeling it's not just what happens now i think it goes back many back. many 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 years all the way back you know so it's not just what you do for them right now because they adults they probably don't really need your role modeling um they needed your modeling when they were so much younger when they yeah. were you know um in their formative years so they could still be um not molded but they they, they were still soft enough to yes to receive a lot of things from you and yeah. that's when that's when i think the the um the nurturing is so important yeah yeah and so you plant a really good seed a great foundation of a person and then they can they yes. can really thrive with yes. whoever they want to be then they can be grounded later then they can they can take the knock back later then they can be determined enough later you know like yes. um when 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 the kids were young for example um you know we would be thinking oh no we've just run out of this and that and i'll say it's okay there's always a way there's always a way i always say you know there's always a way don't worry you know but nothing is that much of a worry and um you know we um uh, with um with 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 kids you know I always like to um trigger off their imagination i think if you can trigger off that imaginative and creative side of them then they can think of a lot they can think laterally like you were saying before which i to nurture lateral thinkers you know and yeah. i think maybe these days uh, not that there's anything wrong with computer games and all that but there's a lot of reliance on one particular type whereas in the um old days when my kids were growing up I'll take them out to the backyard and we will play kung fu movies because I love kung yeah. fu movies myself yeah. so I would be the the director the the script writer <laughs> the producer <laughs> or in one and then I'll say yeah. all right now the old chief was jumping on the mountain and then looking for the best disciple so you two have to be work out who's the best disciple and then they have to you know do a little fight or you know offer the best food to the instructor and I'll say okay and this and that not we'll just make up stuff yeah so you're just nurturing their creativity and their artistic well everyone has some artistic talent but yeah. that's yeah, that's one mm. so you yeah. just bring that out to from them and that's so important for their 
problem solving later. So, you yeah. know, when they're stuck and they think that they're just stuck in between oh, the yeah. four walls and they can't get out. Yeah. Like, oh, there is a way out. You know, they, they'll maybe what you say to them when they're really young, there's always a way out. There's always a way out. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I say to the kids. That's right. Like I try to give them the autonomy to make their own decisions. And I'm like, just find the solution. Look at it differently. And there's a lot of children's movies out there these days. It'll be like, I can't remember which movie it was. I don't know. Like we'll, we'll like jump on our head or do a handstand upside down. I'm like, now is there a different perspective? Yeah. You know, like, yeah, it just trains them to just think totally outside the square. Yeah. I always say there's always a way. There's always a way. And but you've got to keep and there's always a choice that coming yeah. back to our women there's, mm. there's sometimes it's a very difficult choice but there's always a choice mm. Mm. yeah yeah and you know and it, 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 there's I don't, I don't think there's actually like a set formula you know no. there's never a, a wouldn't it be great thing. if there was a set formula for parents yeah, <laughs> yeah. with complete sanity raising wonderful grounded exactly this, yeah all grounded yeah. children and for me, I just felt that at the time I wanted to just trigger off their their creativity, you know, get them to think and create things in their own mind. I would tell them, I would make up these weird stories and say, oh, there's this guy with red little eyes staring at the window. Can you see that? Can you see that? And they'll say, oh, oh, yes, mommy, yes, mommy. And then, you know, I'd just trigger off their imagination so that they'll yeah. be wildly i know and they just they just go with it don't they and they love it like it's so real exactly and and somewhere along the along the line something knocks that out of them yeah 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 that's right yeah i don't know I whether it's, you know reality responsibility yes. i don't know a responsibility is good nothing wrong with that sorry but yeah. you know, it's uh, somewhere along the line it you know that, that that little bit is taken out of them bit by bit yeah yeah but it seemingly with your two boys it stayed there 